What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial Today I'm going to show you how to travel to the next level Once you have reached the end uh, door, gate or whatever This is going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started Alright, so the first thing I want to do is to go into the content browser Right click and create a new blueprint class And this will be an actor Because it will basically place it in the world And this will act as the trigger So when we enter it, basically travel into the you know, next level uh, So we can just say BP underscore um you know gate or whatever and let's go ahead and open this up and uh once it opens come on quickly um basically uh, we're just gonna add a collision so we can detect the player entering and exiting and then also use a simple mesh so let's go up here and go into collision i'm gonna search for a box collision of course you can choose whatever shape it is better for you but normally a box will do this job and i'll just call this trigger so now down over here, we're going to go into the on component, begin overlap and add an event. So basically when a actor or even a component, whatever, basically collides with this and enters in trigger, it will call this function, well event. So now we can get the other actor and then cast to our third person character. Of course, if you're using any other uh, character blueprint, you need to call the one that you're using for your game. Uh, in our case, if it is the third person character, well, Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and just print hello, just to see if it's working, right? Um, and then what we can do is just add a cube, for example, which will be the seven mesh. Uh, but what we're going to do is a bit of a cooler thing is to add actually the gate or the door, however you wanna call it. So I can just go in the starting mesh, go door frame, and then I can just go up and search for door. Now, the thing is that I do have the door meshes because I imported the uh, content example, uh, well, started content. So if you don't, if you didn't do that when you create the product, we well, can just go up here into add a feature or content pack and then go into content and add the started content. You say add to product and you will have all of the doors and stuff. I don't know why I closed it. Let me open it back. There we go. Uh, so what I can do is just like this door frame and then just go here and search for door and then we can see we have door from here great uh there we go pretty good and just get a trigger and put a bit up and of course we'll have to fill it in and now my door will be like i guess already opened or whatever i mean what i can do is just duplicate this and add the door um inside or the door itself i don't know how you would call it but um in english but i can just get for example this door and then just put it like this here inside and then just rotate it a bit so it's like open there so it's like you can go inside basically right and we have the trigger so it will detect so we can make it a bit bigger and like this so you don't have to kind of enter uh, entirely you know since you enter here you will detect it great so with that said we can now compile and save this blueprint just drag it into the scene i hope you just have it here it is actually the other way around so 180 degrees and there we go so now if i press play uh, you will see that if i go here and go through the door you will see hello up here uh, all right uh, now what we want to do is actually go and of course go into the next level so what we're gonna do is just go to the bin graph and delete the hello you know, print and what we can do is just get this and then say uh, open level and we have two options by name or object reference in today's video and we're going to do by name so in here basically you have to pass the level name that you have want to load in this case it will be your next level or whatever you want uh, so in my case let me just quickly go into go up here new level uh, basic and this will basically just be my level so i can just save this level if i were to for example add the player spawn or well, the player start so if you go here you save and this will be level two without any spaces and then i can go into the gate and here i can just put level two now have in mind that the name has to be exactly the same okay there cannot be any spaces uh, the lowercase and uppercase has to be the same so make sure it is the same and in here you don't have to change anything about that and that should basically go ahead and work so now if i return back into my normal uh, third person map which will be like for example your first level or whatever i can uh, press play and i can go into the door and boom i am in the next level and of course you can add effects to make it a bit nicer or maybe sounds i mean actually we can do so so we can just go here and say like sound 2d and then we can just go and put here uh basically i don't know 
for example this sound and I'm going to just add a little delay so there's no interruption. Now a quick thing I'm going to do is add a widget with a nice fade animation so yeah, it's a bit nicer. So I'm quickly going to just right click, use the interface, widget blueprint, use a widget. That would be underscore fade. Uh, now, I do have a more in-depth tutorial about widget animations, so if you want to check that out, go ahead. Let's go ahead and just add a canvas panel, and then just go and get an image, drag it, go into the anchors, and put it in the full screen. Now what we just want to do is just go in all the offsets and just put it in zero, so extend through the whole screen. And now we want to get the tint and just put it into uh, dark. So now what we want to do is go selecting this, which can just call the fade uh, image or whatever. We can just go into animations. If you don't see this, you can just go to widget, sorry, window <laughs> and animations. Just click add, it's gonna say fade, and I'm gonna select it. And I'm here, we can just add a new fade image. Well, basically the one while we are selecting it. So now we can just go to color and opacity and the A, just put it into zero. Put a keyframe and then after i don't know 0.50 seconds maybe we can test this put it full uh, dark so now boom we have a nice fade and now what we can do is just go to the graph delete all this and create a new custom event which will be the fade uh, we're gonna call it the same as the animation so fade anim now we just want to get the uh, fade animation get it and then say play animation and now we just plug that in and with that we can just compound save go back to the gate blueprint and then right after we play this out for example we can just go and say create widget in here we can just select the one that we have just created which is uh, bp uh sorry our wb fade and then we can just go get this and add it into the player viewport and then of course the delay should match a bit the 0.5 seconds that we had over there in the animation so uh, in this case as you can see it was around yeah 0.5 so that's what we want so we can just press play and you will see that now i go there and oh, okay now <laughs> so the reason that that happened is because if i go back to my blueprint you can see but by default if i'm not previewing the animation it is well completely trans uh, sorry opaque so we just want to make it by default zero just compound save go back to here and then if I go back into my door and pass it here, you can see that now, okay, it didn't happen because of course I didn't uh, call the, um, well, the, the play animation event that I did. So I forgot. So we can just go up here and then just do this and then say play uh, fade. Well, actually it was his fade anim, I think it was called. Fade anim, there we go. Uh, connect it back over here. And now, yes, if we compile, go here let's play and now pass the door there we always have a nice transition and opens and that's it guys if you found my tutorial helpful i would be sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials so go ahead and check them out Join my discord server link in the description and follow me on my socials such as twitter and instagram now yes with all i said bye bye